I'm Margo Hammergren from Margo Muses. And I'm Gunner from Gunner Goes. And today we're going to be reviewing Billy, Billy Elliot. Elliot at Paramount Theater in Aurora, Illinois. How many shows have you seen at Paramount? We have seen five different shows now, and the most recent four have all been directed by Trent Stork. This musical is an adaptation of the movie that was made in the year 2000. The story is about a little boy growing up in 1984. In? In, in London. London. No. In Eastern. southern London. No, Northern wrong. England. I thought it was Northern England. England. Oh. Northern England. Because like, and this is a poor town. And all, and all the miners are going on strike because of Maggie Thatcher, right? Indeed. <laughs> Until one day, Billy went to the gym. Billy is a kid who lives at home with his dad, his brother, and his grandma. His dad pays for these boxing lessons. And one day, Billy goes to a different part of the gym and he finds the ballet class. And he gets roped in to join that by Mrs. Wilkinson. His father does not w like how he's taking ballet lessons instead of boxing lessons. His mom passed away. Miss Wilkinson is like basically his mother, like finding a new mother. You see, Billy doesn't have a great connection with his family, and his mom is dead, and he finds a way to like express his emotions like, through the dancing. I'm dancing. His dad and his brother and the whole town and community supports him. The book was, uh, the book and lyrics were both written by Lee Hall. The music was composed by Elton John. Yeah, like Tiny Dancer, good song. And the orchestra was conducted by Corey Danielson. We love the Paramount Orchestra. They're really good at playing the music. The whole thing was choreographed by Isaiah Sylvia Chandler. I think it was incredible, especially that the song um, that ends act one, Angry Dance. I really like the part where he and his grown-up self Doing were, Swan Lake. Um, did Swan Lake. Billy was like in the air spinning really like high. He was like 20 feet up in the air. I'd say he was like 18. Before she died, and his mom is dead. Before she died, she wrote a letter um, to Billy um, to op for him to open on his 18th birthday, but he opened it when he was 11. He showed it to Miss Wilkinson. And she asked him to bring some things that would help, like to make a dance of. He brought the letter. Miss Wilkinson was played by Michelle Aravina. She was funny, strict, cursing. She was, she was nice, yeah. I also like Clipboard Lady. Shout out to Spencer Davis Milford, who plays Tony. I think he did a great job. We also met his parents afterwards at a restaurant and found out that he's been involved in Billy Elliot for a while now. The grandma was played by Barbara E. Robinson. What was something funny that the grandma did? She had food in a lot of funny places. I think the dad was a good character. He was played by Ron E. Rains. He he portrayed the uh, the role very well. I I liked how his character developed throughout the story. He started with just like being kind of a jerk. He got even more mad at Billy when he found out he was taking ballet lessons. And then but then he like slowly starts to actually be invested in um, in Billy's dream, and he becomes loving towards his son. Michael is Billy's best friend. Um, he likes to dress in women's clothes, mm. likes to dance in women's clothes, and ride bicycles. Um, Michael was played by Gabriel Mafazan. <laughs> And I think this is the most important character that we mentioned now, Billy. So, Billy was played by Neo oh. Del Carol. He did an, a spectacular job at playing Billy. His dancing was incredible. Uh, he must have had so much like, endurance, and and especially during like the, the 
Like this, the songs were just all dancing, like Angry Dance and Swan Lake. He memorized all of that in only three weeks. It's extremely inspiring. You know how much effort you have to put in that, mm -hmm. like how much practice you had to put in that. You wouldn't have that many break times or rest times except sleeping in the night. There is also another Billy, and his name is Sam Duncan, who we, we didn't get to see. But I think he also probably did a great job. It would be cool to, to maybe see him too. Give us more free tickets. <laughs> we're, we're, this is for the purpose that we get um, that we get uh, to see a second Billy and get just you know, more information. Okay, my favorite part, two parts, were. Um, the auditioning song, the um, the other one I really like is the second letter song. The one where Billy replies to the letter that his mom wrote for him. Did you? Mom, you cried. Just want to embarrass you. <laughs> one of my favorite characters was the uh, boxing teacher guy. I thought he was really funny. The lights were awesome. The people who do the lights do not get enough credit. The l lights always brings out like the character in the play. Or like, like the scene or what's or happening. Or just the mood. Okay. And it like brings your focus. The lighting was by Greg Hoffman. The costumes designer was by Zumi Demeyer. No. <laughs> the costume designer was Izumi. Izumi. Izumi Denaba. No, Inaba. Izumi Inimer. Izumi Inaba. The costumes were awesome. Any favorite costumes? The um the clipboard woman costume. It was very businessy. <laughs> Izumi <laughs> is famous for breakaway <laughs> clothing. <laughs> like especially pants. That's her thing. Izumi and Aba uh seems to like where characters rip their clothes off. For example, in School of Rock when uh, Nick Drumbomsky rips his clothes off, and then Billy Elliot when Mystery Braith Braith Braithwaite takes his clothes off, rips his clothes off too. To reveal another costume beneath it, no nudity. No, no, none of this. Michelle Lilly was a set designer, and um, she designed the set like like Hamilton, like cause, like the stairs and like the little areas. Um, where you like stand and do stuff. This musical is different because it's rated R. View with caution. Uh, there's a lot of cuss words. Because <laughs> there's like a bajillion of them. Anyone who believes in a union should come to this play because of the whole minor strike thing. Anyone who, anyone who likes the movie. Ballerinas. Uh, my boy ballerinas. Pe people who mm -hmm. are minors. You know, yeah. for gold. Uh, or like gold panning. People who did that. So <laughs> like and subscribe. Um, hit that no. bell. Button. So like and subscribe. Hit that bell right now. Epic video. If you don't click that subscribe button right then now, then there will be a spider under your bed tonight. Um, Billy Elliot. It'll be under your bed. Oh yeah, and like free palace and stuff. Yeah.